welcome back to my YouTube channel today. This is Team Right by P. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to drop a cow abaya with an opening at the sleeve, very close to the wrist. Okay. Thank you very much for your subscriptions. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, like, share to family and friends, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to receive much, much videos like this each week. Now, I'm going to make use of the following measurements for this cow abaya drafting. So the measurements on green represents the vertical measurements and I'll be taking these measurements first. I have my center front or, uh, line already drawn and I'll be making use of the edge of this pepper as my shoulder line. On my shoulder line, I'll be placing my tape and I'll be making a mark of 17 inches, which is my waist length. Then to my hip length, I have 26 here. I'll be imputing my hip length as 26. Then I'll still do the same thing over here to get a straight line. So I'm done imputing the measurements on green, which are my vertical measurements for this car, Abaya, you seven, uh, 17 and 26. So now on the waistline, which is 17, I'm going to put the circumference of my waist divided by 4. And I have um, my, my waist circumference as 38 divided by 4. I'll be having 9 and half. Then I'm going to add 2 inches is to my 9 and half. So the mark I have here is my round waist divided by 4, which is 9.5 inches. And from here to here, I added 2 inches for ease. And I'll go back to my hip line. On the hip line, I'm going to take the hip circumference, which is 50, divided by 4. And I have 12.5 inches. And on that point, I'm going to add 2 inches also to it for ease. So I'm done imputing my waist measurement and my hip measurement. So I'm going to work on my neckline right now. Remember, this is my center front line. And on this line, I'm going to place my tape to determine my neck length and my neck, uh, neck width. I'm, having, I'm going to make use of a neck width of 4.5 inches. Then my neck depth, I'm going to take 4 inches for my neck depth. Then I'll connect this neckline. So you can see I've connected my neckline now. So the very next thing I'm going to do is to divide my shoulder, my across shoulder by 2. And I have 16. 16 divided by 2. I'll be placing my tape on the center front line and make a mark of 8 inches. And from this point of 8 inches, I'm going to drop my shoulder by 1 inch. So I'm going to connect my line to my shoulder slope. So I'm going to extend this line where I, I joined my, I drew the line of my neckline to my shoulder slope. I'm going to extend this line. And on this very line I'm going to extend, I'll be measuring my sleeve length on it. So I'm going, I'm taking my measurement right from this place and I'm placing my tape this way. I have a sleeve length of 18 inches, so I'm going to place my tape and measure 18 inches. Then I'll make a mark. So I'm going to extend my line, my front, center front line, downwards. Now I'm going to transfer the measurement I have here, which is 12 and a half plus 2 inches, 14 and a half inches. I'm going to transfer it to the hem. At, at my waistline and my hip line, I'm going to connect these two points together with my curve, with my hip curve. I'm done connecting my waistline and my hip line, then I'm connecting my hip line to my full length. I'm done connecting my waist, hip, and hem, as you can see. Now I'm going to come down by 4 inches. On the hip line, I will make a mark 4 inches downwards. That will serve for my connection of the abaya. 
So now going over to the so I'm going to connect this line, this point to this point. Just watch as I'm connecting. So I'm done connecting the bat wing to the point of this um, four inches down from the hip. So now we are going to work on the sleeve opening. So I'm going to I'm going to have an opening very close to the wrist here. And I'll be taking the measurement of where my sleeve will stop. So you can see how I took my measurements, okay? That is where my sleeve will stop and that is the circumference of that area. So I'm having 14 inches here. I'll divide it by two. So I'm going to place my tape from this point and I'll make a mark of seven inches. This is my seven inches here, which is the round of the measurement I took, 14 inches divided by two, seven inches. So I'll be placing my, my French curve this way to touch So I'm done creating my sleeve, my opening for the, where my, I'll pass my, my hand, okay? So this is it. And now you can see the abaya is already, the cow abaya is ready already now. So all I'm, I need to do is to follow this line from this, from the fr center front to my neckline and I'll cut all the way. Then I'll be add, adding 0 0.5 inches all over, 0 0.5 inch all over the bodies. So let me cut. So I'm getting to this point. I'm going to follow this line. Okay, I'm not taking this line. I'm following this line. That is the sleeve opening where my hand will pass. So you can see I'm done with the cow abaya now. So I'm going to cut this abaya on fold. This is just one quarter of the, the whole abaya. So I'm going to cut the front in fold. I'll also use the same abaya, the same pattern for the back. So people, I'm done with the cow abaya right now. This is very easy. It's as simple as A, B, C. of the abaya so i'm going to use this pattern for my front and for my back also but i'm going to place the paper on fold i'm going to place my fabric on fold then place my pattern and cut please don't forget to add your seam allowances of 0 0.5 inch all around then out at the end you can use one inch for it so people thank you very much for watching Please, if you are new to this channel, please like, share to family and friends, subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive more videos like this. See you in my next video.